What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. First of all, because of the gym boost, as you guys can see, I've got five days, 10 hours left on it. I didn't do it right when it started, so I should hopefully get a little bit of extra time out of it. Well, I guess it's a week no matter what, but um, if you haven't seen my video I made with Shia LaBeouf on that, go watch that. Hilarious. I had a lot of fun making that. You guys seemed to like it, which really made me happy because I wasn't sure if you guys would like it or not, but we've got this gym boost going. We've got two builders available. Um, I really want to upgrade my Dark Elixir Drill. Oh, crap. I really wanted to upgrade it, but I can't because it's going to get rid of the boost, and we definitely don't want to do that. So we've got six. We've got almost 6,000 Dark Elixir, and we need to see what we can upgrade with it. So um, we can up, can we upgrade Dark Barracks? We can upgrade Dark Barracks. So we could get Witches. Should we do it? Let's get Witches, guys. We're going to upgrade this one right here. Shoot, why don't I just upgrade both of them? Nice. We're going to upgrade both of those. Get, and that way we're going to be able to uh, train up faster when it comes to our dark barracks. Eight days on those, which kind of sucks, but we're going to have another builder available in six days, 16 hours. Oh, our queen's level seven now. Woo! Queen's level seven. I wasn't sure when that was going to happen, but it happened while I was off. So all, so what we have now is, do we have another, what's, what is our other builder on, guys? We've got two dark, oh yeah, the, uh, the dark spell factory. So we got, we got a lot of dark stuff going on right now with the base. But I'm loving this gym boost. We've got Barks trained up perfect for when people boost their barracks like this. We're going to go see if we can find an awesome base. But first, let's watch this attack that I got just a couple seconds ago, thanks to the gym boost. So I found this guy's base. Obviously, it's not that good of a base. But as you can see, he's got everything boosted, guys. And I was just like, all right, we're going for it. He's got a lot in the center when it comes to elixir. But uh, when it comes to the gold, it's all practically on the outside. You can see we've already gotten 150,000 143,000 just from the outside of the base. So we're going to deploy um, <clears throat> everything down at the bottom. We are going to try and get in there to that elixir, but we're also going to drop our barbarians and our archers up at the top of the base. Guys, like I'm, like I'm saying all the time, you guys know that I love Barch. And this is literally the best week for Barch in Clash of Clans. Is the week when we're allowed to gym our uh, mines and our pumps. So if you're not barching, if you've never barched, now is the time. Now is the time for you to barch. Boost your barracks too if you have the gems for it. Uh, it's just 40 gems. Boost your barracks. Go hard for two hours and absolutely annihilate it. I just realized we didn't finish taking out that up there, but we've got our queen in here. She's just getting hit by splash damage. Haven't used her ability yet. Didn't want to use my king either. Use the queen's ability right there. She's going to finish taking that off. Now the mortars are focused on the archers for us. She's going to go ahead and take this out. And now watch this. So there's going to be one archer left over. Is that right? No, no more archers left over. But look, boom, we're going to end it right before that mortar. Where's that mortar? The mortar ball disappeared. Guys, the mortar ball disappeared. But that was a great raid. Let's see if we can find an even better one right now with the barts that we have trained up. Guys, look at this base. Daniel, my dude, thank you so much for what? He only boosted his gold and his dark elixir. He didn't boost his elixir? Come on. All right, we're going to see, though, if we can. Nope, that's out of range. All right, let's see if this one. Nope. Is this one in range? Nope. All right, so the cannon can shoot that. This is definitely out of range. Is this out of range? Ah, is this? Dang it. All right, we're going to try and find some that are out of range. Um, and let's go ahead. So the majority, the reason I'm attacking this is for the elixir. You can see we've already got 300,000 gold. I want some more elixir. So we're just going to go and uh, we're going to start double tapping. If you guys don't know about double tapping with Barch, this is the way to go. If you can play on an iPad, it's perfect for it. I'm not double tapping on an iPad. I'm double tapping on my iPhone 6. So it's big enough, but it's still pretty challenging, honestly, to double tap and effectively do it on an iPhone because your fingers have to be so close together. Uh, it's pretty annoying, but we're going to go ahead and uh, deploy pretty heavily from uh, the top up here because I do want to try and get my queen up there into uh, that dark elixir storage because there's almost 3,000 dark elixir on this base, which would be pretty legendary if we could get it. Please head in, king. I swear, if you head over to the other side. Okay, good. The king's going in. Uh, we're going to get him up into the center. Queen's going in too. Come on, archers. Where, King, where are you going? Did y'all see that? He, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see the other wall because I was looking down. So they're going to head in. Hopefully we can get our queen and our king up into the center. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this lightning spell on this wizard tower just so that our archers can hopefully take it down. King's going down. He's taking a lot of damage. We're going to go ahead and use his ability right there. Break through the wall. Queen's starting to get hit as well, but I really want her to head over here. Come on, queen. Head over. 
Come on, Queen. I need you right here, Queen. I need you. We're going to watch her health really, really closely. As long as she can target that Dark Elixir for us after that, we're going to be good to go. And she is going to. That is freaking awesome. Come on, Queen. Why? Queen, what are you doing? There she goes. Now she's going after the Dark Elixir. I was about to say, girl, you are going to be in a lot of trouble. Because she targeted that gold mine, she's now not going to get all the dark elixir. That gold mine wasn't even close. <laughs> 54%. We got half of that dark elixir, though, which is awesome. We'll go ahead and end the battle right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll end it. We'll end it. We'll end it. Um, 185, not that good. 175. I'm happy with 1,400 dark elixir from a barch, honestly. That is sweet. If we had had, uh, like, Balloonian or something trained up, it would have cost more elixir, but we would have gotten all of the elixir. So it's give and take, but... For you guys right now, if you want to take advantage of this boost, make sure that you're boosting and then when you get attacked, don't attack again um, if you have a shield unless you're going to be on for a little bit. Like, Don't just attack once and then sign off again and get everything taken because if you have your shield for 10 hours, these things are going to make you a lot of gold and a lot of gold fast. So you want to make sure to protect that as much as you can. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. Super stoked about these dark barracks down here. We're going to have witches soon, which means we're going to have a lot of fun with them up to you guys but we're gonna go ahead and head out thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed i've been doing a lot of vlogging lately if you want to check that out go to molt vlogs and i will see you over there but as always guys make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me right i'll see you guys later peace